Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, you can multiply this directly x times x and write that as x squared over also 5 times 5, that's 5 squared equals to this side as well 5 times 5, we have 5 squared over x times x, which is x squared. The next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared then equals to here we have 5 squared times 5 squared then also we have same thing multiplying just like when we have a times a with the same thing as a squared here we can express this as x squared or square equals to also here we have 5 squared or square the next step here, we take the right hand side to left hand side. And we have x square or square minus y square or square, then equals to zero here. Then here, this follows on we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, open bracket a minus b. As this here we have a standing as x square and b standing as 5 square. That is what we have here becomes x square plus 5 square into bracket, the open bracket x square minus 5 square plus bracket, which is equal to 0 here. The next step here we have. Two possible cases here. The first one we have x squared plus y squared equals to zero. Or we have x squared minus five squared equals to zero here. Solving on this side, this follows what we have a squared plus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b r into brackets. Then open bracket a minus b r. Now this here also follows what we have and becomes x plus 5 r into brackets. Then open bracket x minus 5 r plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then also here we have two possible cases. First one x plus 5 r equals to 0, or we have x minus 5r equals to 0 here and solving on this side we have x equals to minus 5r which is a complex solution here then here we have also x equals to 5r which is also a complex solution here that is solving from the second case as well which is x squared minus 5 squared equals to zero this also follows what we have a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into bracket open bracket a minus b that is all we have here becomes x plus five into brackets, open bracket x minus 5, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then, we also have two possible cases here, x plus 5 equals to 0, or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 here. Then, on this side, this becomes x equals to minus 5, which is a resolution here. Then here, also, we have x equals to 5, which is also a resolution here. At this, we have two resolutions and two complex solutions. And when we write it out here, you can say we have x1, which is the first solution, to be equals to. 5, we have x2 equals to minus 5, x3 equals to 5i, and x4 
equals to minus 5i. That is, altogether we have four solutions here. Two re and two complex solutions. Now, let's check here. You just satisfy this given problem. That this is up to the values of x here. When x goes to 5, this equation becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5. Is it equals to also here we have 5 over 5 times 5 over 5. Our 5 over 5 here, same thing as 1 times also here we have 1. Is it equals to also here we have 1 times 1. And 1 times 1 here give us 1, which is equals to also 1 times 1, that's 1. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, x equals to 5 satisfy this given problem then also we substitute x equals to minus 5 then what we have here becomes minus 5 over 5 times minus 5 over 5 is it equals to also here we have 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5 the minus 5 over 5 is minus 1 times also minus 5 over 5 that's minus 1 is it equals to 5 over minus 5 also minus 1 times also minus 1 minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 we have 1 equals to also minus 1 times minus 1 plus 1 which implies also left hand side equals to the right hand side that is x equals to minus 5 satisfy this given problem then we substitute x equals to 5i as well and this equation becomes 5i over 5 times 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over 5i times 5 over 5i then 5i over 5, you can write that as i times also high. Is it equals to here? 5 over 5, where we can write that as 1 over high times also 1 over high. i times i, same thing multiplying, that's i square. Is it equals to here? 1 times 1, 1 over i times i, i square. Then we should note that i square, same thing as minus 1. That is, here we have minus 1. Is it equals to 1 over minus 1? And here we have minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1, also minus 1. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Then 5i also satisfy this given problem. Then also we substitute x equals to minus 5i. And this equation becomes minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5. Is it equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 over minus 5i? Then minus 5i over 5, that's the same thing as minus i times also minus i. Is it equals to 5 over minus 5i? You can write that as 1 over minus i times 1 over minus i. The minus times minus a give us plus. Uh, we have plus i square. Is it equals to 1 times 1? That's 1 over also i square. And, my, and i square, that's minus 1. Is it equals to also 1 over minus 1? This is minus 1 here, which is equal to 1 over minus 1 over minus 1. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that minus 5i also satisfies this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up with your comments. See you next class and bye for now.